good day grade 7. Welcome to another topic in our PE class. To formally start our discussion, first let us identify the following. Content standard. Performance is standard. And most essential learning competencies. Our topic for today is all about our niece. To jumpstart the lesson, let us have the jargon mumble activity. You're going to identify the jargons related to our niece inside the box. I will give you a few moments to choose those words. Let us start with the nature and background of our niece. Our niece is a Filipino martial arts with a distinct form and style. It uses two sticks commonly made of rattan about 1 inch in diameter and 24 to 28 inches in length. Our niece is known by many names. Estacada in Tagalog, Kaliramdam in Eastern Visayas, Eskrima in Western Visayas, Kaligrogan in Pangasinan, Kabarowan in Ilocos Region, Pagkali-Kali in Ibanags, and Sinawal in Pampanga. Kali is the original Malay term given to this martial art, but many believe it was derived from the Spanish term Arnes. Arnes is regarded as a traditional Filipino martial art. Its origin in the Philippine culture and history is still not yet discovered. Lapu-Lapu was considered the first master of Arnis for fighting Magellan, even though the Spaniards used strong weapons such as swords and guns. Lapu-Lapu and his men used wooden instruments, spears, and bolos. The use of these kinds of weapons did not hinder them from winning the fight against the Spaniards. Thus, Magellan died during the battle between him and Lapu-Lapu. This sport shows fighting with weapons such as knives, bladed weapons, sticks, or other improvised weapons. It also includes grappling, pacifying of weapons, and hand combat. The main purpose of Arnis is for self-defense. Arnis is practiced primarily as a sports activity, a defense or protection, a tool by law enforcement agencies in maintaining law and order. On December 11, 2009, Arnis was declared as the Philippine National Martial Art and Sport through Republic Act 9850, signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The next topic is all about pieces of Arnis and equipments. Here are the different pieces of Arnis headgear, arm gear, body armor groin guard, padded stick, and shin guard. The arnis stick should be made of rattan stick, which is called a cane or baston or baton. The usual size of it is 28 inches in length. Here are the parts of the arnis sticks. The next topic is the proper grip. In using the arnis, hold it with your four fingers with the palm blade 2 to 3 inches away from the stick or baton. Your thumb should be over the forefinger. You must hold the baston or baton firmly when striking it. Moving forward, let's get to know more about the basic stance. Courtesy bow, it is an important part and ritual of this sport. 
This is showing respect to the opponent or partner in our knees and is a preparatory position. Steps in courtesy bow. Number one, stand straight, feet slightly apart, hold the stick on both ends. Number two, feet together, put your right hand on your left chest, cane upright. Number three, bow only with your head. Stance is the way someone stands or the proper posture required in a specific event. The basic stance are fight stance, forward stance, backward stance. Let's get to know more and take it one by one. Here are the steps in fighting stance. Here are the steps for the forward stance. Here are the steps for the backward stance. The following basic stances in our knees are essential in learning the 12 striking techniques or patamaan. The ready stance, attention stance, open leg stance, straddle leg stance, forward stance, back stance, oblique forward stance. Attention stance. Stand with feet at 45 degree angle, heels close together, hands at the side and relax. Open leg stance. Stand with legs spread apart shoulder width with toes pointing slightly outward. Straddle leg stance. Spread legs about twice the width of shoulders and bend knees outward, heels firmly planted and toes pointing straight forward. Distribute weight evenly on both legs. Forward stance. Move on one leg forward at a distance about twice the width of the shoulder and about 30 degrees to the side and bend front leg of the knee with cane in the center and in fighting form. Rear leg is extended fully with both feet flat on the ground. Back stance. Stand with one foot backward with rear foot pointing outward and front foot toes pointing forward so that the two feet form an L shape. The rear foot should point either left or right depending on what foot is in rear. Rear knee should be a little bent and forced outward as in straddle stance. 70% of the weight of the body should be supported by the rear leg with 30% of the front leg. Oblique forward stance. This is executed by stepping either foot obliquely forward and obliquely to the left or to the right. The reverse of the oblique forward stance is executed with the withdrawal of either foot. In both movements, the L-shaped position of the feet should be maintained. Moving to the next topic is the 12 striking technique. To recap, our knees is the national martial arts and sports of the Philippines. It is often associated with the use of sticks. This art also features the use of sword, knives, and empty-handed technique. It is a good martial arts to learn as a self-defense system because you only need stick or sometimes even without weapon. In our knees as well as in other martial arts, we have different striking techniques also called patamaan that you need to learn to be able to apply in a certain scenarios. Here are the different striking techniques of our knees. Striking technique number one, left temple strike. Steps, hold your body in a fighting position. From the position, hold the stick with your right hand pointing at one o'clock position, hitting towards left to the head of your opponent. Your left hand should be facing your chest while doing the strike. Striking technique number two, right temple strike. Steps. Hold your body in a fighting position. From the position, hold the stick with your right hand pointing at 11 o'clock, position heating towards right of the head of your opponent. 
Your left hand should be facing your chest while doing the strike. Striking technique number three, or the left side of the shoulder strike. Steps. Extend your right arm weapon hand. Hold your stick at the left side of your body. Strike any part of your body between shoulder and hips. Slash against the outer part of the trunk. Striking technique number four, right side of the shoulder strike. Steps. Extend your right arm weapon hand. Hold your stick at right side of the body. Strike any part of your body between the shoulder and hips. Striking technique number four, right side of the shoulder strike. Steps. Extend your right arm weapon hand. Hold your stick and right side of the body. Strike any part of your body between the shoulder and hips. Slash against the outer part of the trunk. Striking technique number six or left chest stress. Steps. In a fighting stance position, put your right hand with a weapon and your palm facing outward. Your right elbow should be kept downward. Striking technique number seven, right chest thrust. Steps. Position in a fighting stance. Hold the weapon using your right hand. Your left palm should be facing outward. Your right elbow should be kept upward. Striking technique number eight, left lower leg strike. Steps. Bend your body with the right foot forward and the left foot backward. Extend your right hand with a stick to hit the part of the opponent's left leg between the knee and ankle joint. Your left palm should be facing upward. Striking technique number 9, right lower leg strike. Steps. Bend your body with the right foot forward and the left foot backward. Extend your right hand with a stick to hit the part of the opponent's right leg between the knee and ankle joint. Your right palm should be facing downward. Striking technique number 10, left eye poke. Steps. In a fighting position stance, position your right hand forward, stabbing towards the opponent's left eye with weapon or stick. Your right palm must be facing outward with elbow down. Striking technique number 11, right eye poke. Steps. In a fighting position stance, position your right hand forward stabbing towards the opponent's right eye with a weapon or stick. Your right palm must be facing outward with elbow up. Striking technique number 12, crown strike. Steps. Stand in a fighting position. Your stick should be held pointing at the opponent's head with slashing action. Moving forward is the blocking technique. All blocking techniques can be done in any stance, either in fighting stance, forward stance, or back stance. Here are the blocking techniques in our knees. Rising block, vertical block, right sideward downward block, left sideward downward block, right sideward upward block, left sideward upward block. Let's take it one by one. Rising block, performed by raising the cane over the head to block the opponent's blow. Vertical block, performed by raising the elbow at the hand, hiding the cane to the shoulder level while the other hand is supporting it at the middle. Right sideward downward block, performed by positioning the hand holding the cane above the right shoulder, then swinging the cane downward to block the opponent's attack. Left sideward downward block, performed by positioning the cane behind the left ear, then swinging it downward to block the opponent's blow. Right sideward upward block, perform as an outside block, 
however, in the right side of the body. And left sideward upward block, performed by bringing the cane forward supported by the left hand at the middle of the cane. And lastly are the activities for our knees. Here are the suggested warm-up activities and the basic techniques in our knees. These are few things to look back about the different fitness components that can be developed through our knees. Agility, muscular strength, endurance, cardiorespiratory endurance, speed, coordination. Few reminders in doing sports. Don't forget that our knees can build self-confidence, self-discipline, and perseverance. For the activity entitled Peak Award, Directions. Provide below are the pictures of the equipment used in our knees. You're going to choose the name of each from the list inside the box. And for the answers, number one, padded speed, two, head gear, three, body armor, four, groin guard, five, chin guard, and six, arm guard. That is all for today. Here are the references that I have used in doing my presentation. Credits to the rightful owner of the photos used in some slides. Acknowledgement was underneath each pictures. I hope you learned something about our lesson today in our list. This is your teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Soledad S. Aspe. But before I end, allow me to share some inspirational words. Dream big, work hard, make it happen. Goodbye, grade 7!